You're on. Okay. Uh, this mat caster is what was used to make printing materials for letterpress at, at the latest before 1950. And it all started with pig iron, which was we melted in a big pot and poured with a ladle into these things, these molds, and made pigs, which are these. And then we throw those in the pot, remelt them, use them over and over and over. The molten iron was then, I mean, pig iron based on lead was then used to pour into this mat caster to make images on a surface that the ink could be rolled onto, the paper pressed to, and then printed. Uh, here is a piece of movable type. It's a T. And you can see how tall it is. That was standard height for printing materials, and you can see that it's exactly the same height as this right here. So, we, there were mats, which is short for matrix. It was like a piece of tough cardboard with an image embossed into it. The image could be uh, type, letters, words, or even a photograph, a uh, halftone kind of an image. That was laid on top, kind of like this, right here so that the embossed side is down and then when the, the molten lead is poured in it fills up to it and creates the image. This, so you, you get this all set up with the images in place and, and everything in the right place and then you would pull this down, this weighs about a ton, pull it down, lock it in place, in place and then release it and then right here's the gap again with our T same height as the T and you pour the molten lead down in here let it cool and then pull it back up open it up and you would have a cast piece of metal ready to go on the press, just the right height with the proper image on it. Now all we have to do is scan a photograph and upload it to Georgia, Greater Georgia Printers. So I will be salvaging these legs to make a coffee table to turn my heritage into a piece of furniture in my house. Thank you for watching.